So, hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. It's time to get busy living. Let's do it. So, hey guys, welcome back to Appalachia's Homestead. I'm gonna drop this video off for you today because it's like a whole bunch of stuff just sort of came to light this week between reading comments from you guys. Thank you so much for your support and all of your wonderful comments. But also just due to my own circumstances, just like you, I'm busy trying to get back to whatever normal is going to be for us going forward. And because of all of the things that we have all been through the past two years, let's put it at that, whether we agree on everything or not is really not what this video is about. This is about defiance in terms of not having control over our own selves over our own minds, over our own lives, and understanding that we still have a huge amount of control. It's kind of like this. It's kind of like you wake up and you say, not today, Satan. In fact, it's not even about saying, not today, Satan. It's, it's about waking up and saying, not ever, Satan. There's a lot of bids for control in terms of your mind, your body, your spirit, you know, we've talked about this off and on on the channel for the last year or so about the spiritual warfare that we are in. And the thing is, is a lot of us have been kicked, kicked around, kicked down. Our lives have changed. We've been let down by people of authority. We've been pe let down by people uh, in our government. We have been let down by people that we know personally. We've been let down by people in our churches. We've been let down by people in our own family. Every single one of us has had some type of loss, whether it's job loss due to circumstances that are out of our control or we just don't, we don't agree with being controlled. Uh, we've also, you know, had a loss in terms of people in our lives. Every one of us has, has been touched one way or another by loss, by major change. And all of these things have come out to one big fat word called fear. And I see it in some of you in your comments. I have this problem too. We're human. We're, we're going through major radical changes in the world, in our lives, and we've had to make major decisions on who are we going to be. We have to reflect upon what have we been through and what, what has this done to us. But at the end of the day, really it's about, are you going to surrender? So it's like this. Now I'm going to say a few things and I just want to make sure that I am letting you know and letting everyone know that I'm not talking about any one particular person, uh, channel or anything in particular. I, I, I'm broad brushing and you know, I can be grouped in some of this as well. I'm trying very hard to motivate people to be positive, including myself. I'm trying very hard to motivate people to move into a more self-sustaining lifestyle, homesteading, et cetera, what works for them, what they feel they can do, what they can afford to do. I don't want to come at you, and I, this word has been dropped off before. If you say anything at all, you're always gonna have these people that say, you're scaring me. Well, you know, I don't try to scare people. I do try to speak about reality, but at the same time, there is a balance in all of this. I see channels on YouTube just like you, and I have to say, Folks, they're, they're making a lot of money on driving fear. That doesn't mean that things aren't happening, but I am saying that there's a lot of things, including your own system of government, that is making a killing, if you will, based upon instilling fear in you, in you your mind, and your family. I know people that haven't gotten out of their house but just a few times in the last two years. Folks, that is, that is, astonishing and that is so sad. We have got to break this. A lot of you have, I have, but a lot of people are still living in this fear. I had a lady, I'll get to, I'll talk about these channels in a second, what I'm seeing, but you know, when I'm seeing people say, I want chickens, I want to try this lifestyle, I want to be more self-sustaining, but I'm scared of the bird flu. Patera, y'all go get your chickens. Get in your car today. Uh, sometime this month and get a good little brooder and y'all head up to the Rural King or to the co-op or get you a catalog and order you some baby chicks. Stop letting fear and th th these fanatical people scare you out of living your life. Folks, if your great-great 
grandparents and then and their grandparents had truly frozen in fear over everything they went through if you just go from the time frame of basically around 1900 to 1945 none just about all of us or none of us i should say would be in existence today because they would have given up I'm not saying things are great all the time. I'm not saying that we don't have a battle ahead. I'm not saying that we don't need to stand up for what's right and for what's just. But what I'm saying is stop living in fear. Go to the grocery store. Go see your mammal. Have a birthday party for your kids. Put your kids back in basketball, okay? Go to church, praise the Lord. However you want to go about that to make you feel good, or feel safe, whatever. But get up off the couch, shut the laptop, shut the fear down, turn off the stupid news, and I said that. Turn it off and get in the car and go live your life today. I'm gonna go live my life today. I've done all my work since 6 a.m., Lord have mercy, and I'm gonna take my gift card that I got for my birthday and I'm gonna eat at the Cracker Barrel and I'm gonna go shop a little bit and enjoy today with my children and my husband and do a little genealogy and the things that we love. Get up and go. But here's what I'm seeing, and I know you're seeing it too, and I actually clicked on a couple of these channels, and guys, they're just trying to make a living. They're trying to do what they think is right, and that's fine, but I found something very peculiar. Now, before I ruffle feathers, I'm telling you right now, I am not a homesteading or prepper expert, okay? I'm not. Don't even, I'm not telling you I am. I just try to live my life and share the things that help you and and uh, to, to build community and I'm learning and growing every single day just like you. This is a journey. Prepping and or homesteading, we've all been grouped together now, let's just be honest. Did you know, like I said before, did you know your grandmother? Your grandmothers were preppers apparently, but uh, whatever. But what I'm saying here is, is this is a lifestyle. Now, what you may do in terms of things that pertain to this lifestyle will be different than what people did 150 years ago. We do have take more technology. Things have changed. Okay, great. But what I'm telling you is, is this is a lifestyle. This is not just about opening up your closet, making it an extra pantry and stuffing beans in there. That's great if you do, but that's not what you should be doing. These people that are driving fear, I listened to one of them, and nothing personal against this person, but... You know, they're growing a huge channel and good for them because they've got some good stuff to say. But I found it so funny that they're doing, they're supposedly giving all of this advice to do all of these things. And he just said in one of his videos very, very recently, the man doesn't even know how to hardly grow a garden and the man has never had chickens. Now, I'm not judging him on that. He, he's getting into that. That's good. But I'm telling you, this is all being done backwards. <laughs> Okay, at least do it all at the same time. You know, now maybe, you know, some folks want to get into the lifestyle of prepping and doing all of these things and they can't, they can't have a garden yet. They can't have chicken. chicken. I, I get all of that. So don't, I, I know that every situation is different. But what I'm trying to drive home to you is, is this is not about running, running out fear. This is about lifestyle change. We've been up since before 6 a.m. We have fed animals and we have collected eggs and we have had to wash things and we have been in mud and I have thrown hay and, you know, I'm planning an egg sale and, you know, I'm prepping to uh, crack some more kindling over here. This is a lifestyle. I'm going through my pantry pulling out things that I have canned to eat. You know, I'm not just going and getting the Campbell's that I tell you to get. This is a lifestyle. We have been doing this for many years now. And that needs to be the encouragement for you in, in saying, I'm not just going to run in fear and, and hoard and buy because I'm scared of not living and I'm scared of what people will do or I'm scared of what's going to happen. This needs to be a, I am changing my lifestyle. When you do that and you take that approach and you genuinely want to love homesteading, all of the rest of the things fall in place. This is not something that you're just going to pick up today and have done by tomorrow or the end of the month. This is years of work. I know people that are absolutely panicking because they've never gardened before. Don't panic. Stop. Plan. Be smart. You're going long game here. 
okay? We're not just at the end, in the third overtime, throwing a Hail Mary. This is the long game. But the most important critical aspect of however you approach this, and however any of us approach this, is the mind game. Are you living your best life? So the last two years, I have noticed that I have lost tons of time with my children. My children have lost time and things, activities that they could have been doing. Um, you know, we've lost family and friends. There's a lot of loss. And so that plays with our minds. We're, we're all scared. We're living in fear of losing more. You got to let that go. We got to let that go. We can't control it. You know, you can go out today and God has chosen this afternoon to be the day that he's taken you home. It may have nothing to do with anything, with anyone else, with any other circumstances. You can't control that. But did you call your mama today? Did you make muffins for your kids? Did you love on your dog? Did you hug your husband? You know, did you live your life? Are you doing some of the things that you can do that you love? I am doing genealogy research right now, and this is not going to mean a hill of beans to you, talking about beans again. But I have sort of been dabbling back into it, and I have missed so many things over the last two years. You know, I put off going to places that are not that far from home to do genealogy or to do research, and because I stopped, because we can't go anywhere, we can't do anything, you know, the world's coming to an end, and maybe it is. But again, like I've said before in another video, what are you going to do about it? God wants us to live our best lives and to be our best individual selves and doing for others. And when we're happy in doing those things and standing up to fear, we are representing him as we should be. But like I said, I went to the archives yesterday. I drove to uh, Madisonville, Monroe County, right? Y'all know Monroe County. So I went to the archives and I've been digging on a certain family that folks, my ancestors, I'm going for first families of Tennessee, two grandfathers at two different times, father to son, and it goes down to eventually me. Folks, they got on boats and they floated all the way over here from Antrim. One of my uncles was born on a ship to get here. These men fought in the War of 1812 and on up through the Civil War and on up to basically, you know, where I stand today, where you stand today. They didn't quibble. They lived their lives. And I've missed having the opportunity to learn all about these men and wonderful women that because of their existence and because of their perseverance, I'm here. And I sat yesterday and I was getting out land grants with archives and getting out all of these things. And I sat there and I realized yesterday morning how much I've missed. And it made me reflect upon so many of you making comments too about how you've missed things. Or, you know, like I said earlier, you're asking questions out of fear. And what, you know, asking me my opinion, what am I doing? Or what do I think? Because you're in fear. I'm saying get up and go do it. I'm saying get up and go live your life. Things are pushing on you to make you feel like you can't. And when they do that and you surrender to it, you're surrendering control. You're saying, I can't do, I can't be, I don't deserve. I'm not going to be able to do it without you. No, people, it's not what we're meant to do. We're meant to have our free will and our freedom and our freedom of choices. And who are you supposed to lean on? Well, obviously, you're, I would say, your loyal, loyal friends and family and God. So please live your life. Don't rely on YouTube or the news or friends or people that scare you all the time, hold you down. There's lots of forms of tyranny. It doesn't just come and come from government. It comes from what you allow in your life. It's time to stand up and take it back. Like they say, get busy living or get busy dying. So the question is, is what are you going to choose today? 
I appreciate you being here. This has been weighing on my heart. And like I said, I've rearranged my week and said, no, I'm gonna, we're gonna start doing some of these things. I want my kids to learn about this. I wanna grow with this. I, I want that plaque on my wall. I want to make my, you know, my grandparents and my Nana and, you know, my beloved Papa, who I'm doing all this research in memory of, I wanna make them proud. And nothing is stopping me. I want to build and, re and, and build a legacy for my boys and for my grandchildren that I don't even know yet. You know, I may never know, but that's my responsibility to make these things happen. And I'm not allowing anyone or any fear factor put the boot on my neck. So I encourage you to stand up today. We have lots of videos coming your way. I know, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make uh, some strawberry shortcake. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you how to make the meanest biscuits ever. We've got a lot of biscuit videos, but I'm really excited about this. I've got sugary uh, strawberries soaking right now for those yummy, yummy, yummy strawberry shortcakes I'm gonna make. So we look forward to having that moment with you. Y'all go live, go live, stand up. All right, we're gonna go. I gotta get on the road. We're gonna have some fun today. See you on the next video.